Oh, hello there. This is going to be a kind of quick one, but just wanted to kind of update you guys on what I've been doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, um, for the Memorial Day weekend, I, uh, spent a lot of time in the yard and, um, did a lot of yard work and kind of overdid it because today I had to go back to work and I could hardly walk. Yeah, it was, um, just working in some of the flower beds and stuff and, just the general work, you know, cleaning up crap in the yard, and you know, it just seems like Memorial Day weekend kind of signifies the start of the summer season and everything, so you got to get ready for that. And um, I cooked out yesterday. Love to cook out in the summertime. Um, of course, you know, yesterday was Saturday was beautiful. It was about 80 degrees, and then Sunday it was kind of cloudy off and on, but it was still about 75, 78, somewhere around there. Today, we started out at about 75, and then it rained somewhere around, I don't know, noon or, or a little after, and the temperature plummeted, and now it's like 40. So, yeah, the start of summer. Yeehaw. Anyway, so, um, I watched a video this weekend where Silver Screen Girl was doing a craft where she did the, um, baby socks and baby washcloths and and you know made them into little roses and um for a, a baby shower and my niece who lives behind me had her baby two weeks ago today and i hadn't really gotten her anything it's her sixth child you know what do you get somebody that has six kids and they're all eight and under yeah so anyway so i hadn't gotten her anything yet i wanted to get her something but i didn't really know what to get her and i thought you know that's really kind of cool Maybe I, it looks easy enough. I could do that. And um, so I went out and I bought um, baby socks and baby washcloths and all the stuff to, to make the craft. And I started working on it and I learned a lot. I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned that, um, yeah, well, my family, in my family, we have, um, a, it's a neuro something disease that's called um, Charcot-Marie-Tooth and um, CMT is the short version of it. Anyway, my grandfather had it and he lost all the muscles in his in between his thumb and his index finger and by the time he died his hands were pretty much drawn up like this. So I don't really have the extent of it that some of my family members do but I do notice when I do fine work like that like using the wires, the floral wires, that it really is difficult to do especially with my right hand so it's probably worse in my right hand than my left and I have a little bit of it in my in my right foot um, kind of the way I walk is a little bit different but it's not because I intend to it just is that's how it <laughs> affects you anyway so I learned that you know I probably have a little more of that than I had hoped and I wished I would have bought a higher gauge wire, uh, nope, a lower gauge wire, which would have been a thicker wire. Um, so I ended up doubling my wires over and then wrapping some of the floral tape around it so that um, it would give it a little more bulk and it was a little easier for me to work with. Um, and I ended up uh, doubling this or putting the two socks together instead of one sock at a time because the smaller ones were a little more difficult for me to work with too. And you know, I probably should have got socks that were bigger than the zero to six month size so that she could use them later and, and everything, but I didn't. You live and learn, right? Anyway, so, you know, I was working with the stuff and I, you know, I've never worked with floral tape and, and wires or anything like that before. My crafting extent is a whole lot different than this kind of stuff. Um, I'm not really a very crafty person. Um, so anyway, I, um, I got pretty frustrated and I threw a lot of the um, floral tape away in the process because I couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do and going from the bottom of the flower onto the wire <laughs> was driving me crazy. But anyway, as it turned out, um, it, it turned out okay. My greenery wasn't the best because I couldn't find much at Walmart um, and so yeah, whatever. But I did it. I made it all, I took it over to my niece, and um, she asked me where I bought it. I didn't think it was that good, but she was impressed, so that's cool. And 
I guess she put it on the table to display for a while before she uses any of it. I hope she'll use it. But I'm going to attach the pictures, um, maybe at the end, maybe right here, and let you all see what mine turned out like. And um, So if you want to know how to do this, go watch Beth's video that this is a response to. And, um, okay, so... If, uh, well, I was going to tell you about my... Um, visit at the doctor's office today, but I think I'll save that for another day, because I got my allergy shot, and it was interesting today. But anyway, I guess that's all for now. I will catch you all later, and enjoy. Bye.